Hello, my name is Vera Kovačevska. I'm from ERP Concept and I'm here to show you how you can easily create your documentation, instructions, e-learnings videos, interactive e-learnings as well as tests of acquired knowledge. Today I will present you the TT Knowledge Force toolset which allows you to create all these different types of documentation with only one recording session and for a very short period of time. As you already know, in our previous videos we created the new document in our workspace adapted the first pages of the document based on our needs and we recorded a very simple process of sending an email using Microsoft Outlook. So, as an output of our recording, you can see our e-learnings and documentation, which fully explain the whole process including screens, flags for the key fields and detailed overview of the steps needed to be done for the realization of the process. What I want to show you in this video is how to add some extras in your documentation and how to create tests that can be used as a feedback as checking of the acquired knowledge. So, let's start. Let's assume that in our documentation we want to add some slides from the PowerPoint presentation which was already prepared. So, what I will do is I will select from the toolbar section text the button Insert PowerPoint Placeholder. With double click on the PowerPoint Placeholder, I will select the presentation from which I want to add the slide. I will select the slide that I want to be included and now at the end I will press OK. So, as you can see, the slide appeared on our documentation. Also, what we can do is, from the same section text, we can choose Insert Object Template. And we can add different text boxes, such as Attention, Or we can add hint and so on. Also, what we can do, we can see that we have available a different highlights and we can choose, for example, arrow down. We can place it on the right place, right click on it, we can add animation, insert animation before interaction and choose, for example, fly in straight from top. Of course, that we can add an additional comment wherever we would like to do that. So I will select from the toolbar section text, insert text box. As you can see, I can move it and I can write my additional comment. Also, I can add a table. You can create the table with columns and rows, depends on your need. In our case, I will create it with two columns and two rows. Last but not least, what I want to show you is how to create a question. Therefore, first of all, I will go at the end of the e-learning, then from the toolbar I will select test questions, from the second part insert templates tab, the last question segment and we can see that we have available three different question templates, multiple choice five choices, simple drag and drop three target boxes and single choice out of five choices. For our demonstration I will choose the template single choice, five choices. What you can see now is the number of runs that we will allow to the users and the comments that the users will receive as a result of the provided answer. So we have a comments and feedbacks during the first run, 
during the second run, and so on. First of all, we have to write the question. So, for example, I will write, what should you enter in the subject field? I will write five answers and of course only one will be the correct one. So for instance, test, instruction, presentation, TTKF demonstration, and the email of my colleague. Stefanova ERPconcept.com. As we already know, the correct answer is the TTK of demonstration. So what I need to do is to tell to the software that this answer is the correct one. Therefore, I will select the correct textbooks. Right click on it and we have designed it as a correct answer. So now, when our e-learnings and documentations are ready, we can start with our trainings. The most important is the fact that the documentation and the interactive videos are always available through your internet network, so at any time the users can see them, train themselves and consult with them. Also, one of the crucial points is that these interactive videos gives you the opportunity to train a large amount of users without any impact on your system. They simulate working in the system without need of log into the system. In addition, the documentation is always available to be updated and adjusted at any time in the future. If you want to learn more about how you can save money, time and how we can help you to improve your business performance, please just contact us. Thank you for your time and attention.